Hi, Christy Cubs. Today I have a meeting. I might be back soon. I might not. But if not, I have a fun lesson plan for you guys. You guys are going to be creating mandalas. Mandalas are radial designs that repeat a lot of shapes and patterns and colors, and we're going to make one today. How's it going, y'all? So today I'm going to be out. I'm at a meeting or I might be at a convention. I don't know what time I'll be back today, but I have a fun project for you guys today to do with your substitute. Make sure that you are kind to our substitute. Our substitute took some time from their day to be at our school, so please say thank you on the way out. It is much appreciated for them to be here. The first thing that y'all can do to get started is you're going to find the little bin on your table, this little cup thing, and if you could sharpen your pencil, hopefully also there's an eraser in there. You can use that to erase today, but if you could please sharpen your pencil, if it's not sharpened already, and give us a thumbs up. Okay. So now um, you have your square piece of paper and a pencil. Let's go ahead and write our name at the bottom left-hand corner. Now you wanna write small because our artwork is going to go over this whole thing. But go ahead and write your name. Don't worry about a class code today because you will be taking this with you. Give us a thumbs up when you're ready. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to fold your paper in half if you're in kindergarten or first grade and you need some help, please raise your hand and our sub would love to help you out with this. But go ahead and fold it in half and then give us a thumbs up. All right, so now I have folded it in half like a book. I'm going to open it, if you haven't already, and you're going to fold up towards away from you. And that way, when you open it again, you should see four or equal boxes here. Give me a thumbs up once you have that. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to mark the inside little pinpoint smack dab right in the middle. I'm gonna do a circle, but you could draw a star, you could draw a shape. This is gonna be the middle of our mandala. So we're gonna be working around the center points. So that's probably gonna be the most important thing. Give us a thumbs up when you have that. Okay, so we're gonna do our first pattern together and then you guys are gonna do the rest and I'll show you what your options are. But like, let's think of some simple ways we could fill up this space. Maybe on the outside of this circle, I have a triangle and it goes out. So I'm going to look at this section right here and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So you're gonna be doing a lot of turning today. Okay, so I have a triangle here, turn. But do you have to do a triangle for your first pattern? No, it can be totally up to you or you can copy me, it's totally up to you. Give us a thumbs up once you have an identical thing in each section. Basically, you're going to come up with different ideas and then you just keep on going. So this is gonna get bigger and bigger. You may decide that you don't wanna do more shapes for your next pattern. You totally could. But think in your head, what is another way instead of shapes that we could create a pattern. If you thought a line, then you are correct. You could do a pattern of line. So I'm going through each one and I'm adding a zigzag line. But of course you can pick a different line. You could do a castle line. You could do a squiggly line. Hey, you could even do a scribble line as long as it's the same scribble line in every section. So you're starting to see that it's getting bigger and bigger. So as you guys are going around, you guys are making it more complex. You can use pattern of shape. Eventually, we're gonna go over this with marker and add color and I'll go over that. But I'm gonna take 10 minutes just to keep this growing. And remember, I'm adding something, turning, adding it, turning, copying it. And then once you have copied it in every section, then you're adding on more. So this should take some time. Please don't feel like you have to rush. This takes a lot of focus, but a lot of people say that this is a very relaxing project. So take your time and have fun. So as you can see, it just gets bigger and bigger. A lot of times when you're doing a mandala, sometimes you can get stumped when you get to the edges. It's like, what do I do now? I don't want to mess it up or I want it to look really cool. I've noticed that like right now, I don't really know what to do with these ends. I've noticed that I make my best work when I just echo lines. So echoing line just means repeating them. So for this section, I'm just gonna repeat the lines that I've already created. 
going out, and then I'm just gonna repeat it. Oftentimes that adds a little bit of unity, which makes the artwork look a little bit more unified and balanced and like it makes sense. But of course, this is your creation. You can do it your way. I'm gonna keep on going until I reach the end. Can't think of anything? Raise your hand and ask the sub if you can see the examples I left on the board for you. Okay, so now I have officially reached the end of the paper. You can make shapes bigger as they get closer to the edge. You can, of course, go back and add some more details if you really feel like it. So like maybe I wanna go back in and add some spirals for some reason within this section. Just make sure that you check it, you turn it, and make sure that all of these sides are symmetrical. So now, once you have a, a vision that you like here for your mandala, I want you to, of course, use some Sharpie and go over your lines. Please show the sub before you move on to the Sharpie. I wanna make sure that you really got to the edges of your paper before you moved on. Okay, so that took about 10 minutes for me to go over my lines. So now I'm ready for color. It is up to you if you want to use marker or crayons. Just please, if you're going to use one of these things, put the lids back on the markers and please close the crayons. Please don't let the sub find any pencils in these bags. Personally, I like to use crayons because you can get a really nice hard and waxy texture. Most people will not finish, and that is okay. If you do finish, go back and check your lines. So I want you guys to obviously try to finish, but I know this is a lot of work, so if you don't finish today, it's okay, but I want you working on this the whole time. If for some reason you do finish, all we have is free draw today, but I don't know if I'm gonna be back today. So if you do, um, if I don't end up coming back, I do want you to try to finish this on your own. You're, you are taking this with you and not leaving here. But if you bring it back to me when I get back next week, I will reward you if it's totally colored, 100% done, with a either a piece of candy or if you can't have candy or you just don't like it, I'll give you a chance card. So um, you kind of have a little bit of homework. Try to finish today, bring this back next time, and you'll get a reward. Also, please make sure that you clean your table. If you borrowed a pencil, that needs to go back where you found it. Sharpie needs to have a lid. Make sure that you put it back in the correct container. Your bag should be closed. Our substitute teacher is going to be checking to make sure that your markers are lit up. You shouldn't even need glue or scissors today, so please do not have those out. And then your cup needs to have your sharpened eraser inside. No trash. And then the crayons go on top. So the sub will be checking to make sure that your bin looks correct. Have an amazing day and don't forget to take these home and finish them.